Go, go. Ah, almost a world record. Ah, hello, Goose. What's that you're processing? Well, you know me, Darren, always keeping up with the local sports scores. Ah, human sport, so soft and carbon-based. Why don't I show you an event where the competitors are far superior even to human Olympians? Oh, that does sound amazing. Uh, how do I get you to come along? Do I bring the set with me? Oh, negative. Just hold that tablet still. Whoa! <laughs> That's upgrade, Daz. All right, let's go. <laughs> Wow, Darren, this place looks amazing. Affirmative. There's nothing like the scan of metal and motherboards in the air. <gasps> Is that a Z3000? <gasps> oh, I've got to get down there. Huh? Darren, come back. I can't lose him in here. Well, while Darren's off analysing the competition, perhaps I can find a fellow human to explain what exactly is happening. I'm here with Professor Barbara Messerly, who's the Executive Dean of Science and Engineering at Macquarie University. Now, Barbara, tell me, what's going on here today? We have the first robotics competition today. We've got 3,000 people building robots and then competing with those robots. So they get a box of parts, and that's the starting point, and then they have a game. On this particular occasion, this year, they have to throw these square blocks around mm -hmm. and they have to climb things. So they have to build their robot so that it can do those things. Wow! Look at those transistors! And that coding! Darren, where are you? I know Darren's around here somewhere. That girl looks official. Maybe she can help me find him. Sorry, excuse me, have you seen a robot? Uh, yeah, I've seen a huge number. Can I help you with one in particular? Oh, right, you're one of the referees here. Yeah, I am, actually. Oh, cool. Um, well, can you tell me a bit about the game that's being played today? Sure, so this game is called First Power Up, and the aim of the game is to score as many points as possible. The way they can do that is scoring points in the switch, or the low goal, and by scoring cubes in the high goal, called the scale. The longer the goal is tipped towards your alliance, the more points you get. And how many robots are on the field at one time? So it's three robots versus three robots, and those are randomly assigned. Well, Catherine, thanks for talking to me, and I'll let you get back to your job. Hey, is that the robot you're looking for? Darren! Goose, aren't these robots amazing? Why don't you go and talk to some of the builders? <sighs> How did you guys first get started in robotics? Um, so it was a large part due to the STEM coordinator at our school. She was really passionate about getting a robotics team started. We spend the better part of four and a half weeks building the robot while the programmers, they spend a week working on routines that they'll use on the field. And so what's your role in the team? Um, so I'm a mechanical, um, and this year I specialise in the drivetrain, so the thing that moves the robot around the floor on the field. It's my job to move it around, pick up cubes, shoot them into the, um, the scale, into the switch. When the robot goes off the field, when they come back, we need to fix it, make sure that it's ready for its next match, change the batteries over, things like that. Matches come quite quickly, so it cuts very stressful and everyone has to know what they're doing so that as soon as the robot is, we can get it done and get it back out again. The whole team, since January, we've been building this robot and sort of, it's an incredible task. And it's, a big, of, it's a big investment. Made, yeah. And of course, no team would be complete without a mascot. But is this what you guys need to get you across the line? Yeah. Well, good luck with Scorpion and good luck for the rest of the day. Oh, and if you see my robot, can you tell him I'm looking for him? Sure, we'll Thank do. you. These humans are quite effective at crafting robots. Perhaps Goose should communicate with one of their mentors about how he could learn these essential skills. Oh, he's already found one. Clever Goose. So, Lael, you're one of the mentors here. Can you tell me what's that role involved? Sure. Mentorship is all about helping the students to achieve the best they can in robotics. We're training the students. How do we CAD? How do we make design choices? Why do we make those decisions? How do we develop scouting apps? All those sorts of things. So when we get to competition, they're ready to go and build in the six weeks we have. What advice would you have to any young kids out there who see this and, and want to get started in robotics? Just start doing it. Find tutorials online that teach you how to program, or start looking at CAD designs online, get a 3D printer, start making models yourself, maybe design your own RC car. It'll be a great start to getting you going. are amazing but what amazes me more is that these teams build and program their robots in only a few months indeed 
Robots are complicated, strong and beautiful things. And these humans do well to build them at the level that they can compete in the competition. But Darren, I'm still not sure if I find robot Olympians as impressive as human ones. Oh, really? I can prove our superiority by lasering something. D uh, no, Darren, that will not be necessary. Oh. Why don't we just go watch another match? Come on. <laughs> them over there. Come on. You love those things over there.